folks, so today's video is another week using another palette and this week I am so excited because this is a collaboration that I have been waiting for since I knew that it was existing. It's the Urban Decay uh, Jean-Michel Basquiat collection and for those of you that don't know, I really highly suggest you take like 10 minutes, Google Basquiat, Google his work, what he sort of stood for, uh, check out some artwork and stuff. I'm almost guaranteed that if you are a lover of art like I am, you've seen at least one of his pieces, maybe not put a face to a name or a name to a piece, but you've definitely recognized one of his pieces. So yeah, I studied art history and art theory and everything in university, so I was aware of Basquiat's work. It's been a while since I've sort of remembered his story and everything, but I was aware of his work, and then the second that I saw that Urban Decay was collaborating with um, his estate, I was like, Okay, one, they better not fuck it up, and two, like, how is this gonna go? Um, and then I saw the packaging and everything and was just like, yes, I need this. Um, so the second it came on Sephora, I just was like, <laughs> need to buy. And I ended up buying both of the palettes as well as a lipstick. It was just sort of the items that I felt like I needed. Um, I would have bought the whole collection but, you know, money and need is important. So moving on to this week, I'm using the Tenant eyeshadow palette. Um, this is the more colorful of the two. Open it up and those are the colors right there. Um, I decided to start with the colorful one first because it's the one that I'm more excited about. So this is the look that starts off the week. I am wearing the lipstick as well as some of the teal and blue shades. A little bit of pink. I love that the box is the same as the palette uh, itself, so I'll definitely be keeping this box. And then um, in the back of the palette, there is a little like indent thing that you can put it like on a hook and hang it like on your wall. Um, I think I'm going to be doing that with the actual empty boxes themselves and sort of keeping these out on my vanity as art pieces because they're beautiful. So the shades that I use for this look, I use Studio. Um, my inner corner is a little bit of 1960. And then I had to use these shades here because they're both matte and they're both like amazing. This color you'll see is, well here, I'll swatch it, is just, <laughs> it's so beautiful. Um, I haven't really had a stunning navy blue, it stains though, it's the only thing. I haven't had a stunning um, navy blue, royal blue like that in a long time, at least that I, I don't even think I've had one in my collection. I had one as a pigment, but... Anyway, um, these two colors which are matte are just like the ones that automatically drew my eyes so that's the kind of color combination that I use today. Um, I am going to use a little bit of tape. I did want a bit of a sharp line. Um, that way I find it easier when I'm using like pigmented colors like this to go in with a little bit of tape or before foundation and clean it up. Uh, that way I can just sort of blend to my heart's content and not have to worry about it getting everywhere. So I'm using this light baby pink. For me it almost comes across as just sort of a cream shade. I'm taking that on just a larger fluffy brush. This is a no-name one I picked up from IMAX. Um, any sort of large fluffy brush will work. I am just putting this just right above my crease and just using it um, all the way up to the brow bone. All right, next up I'm going into Boom, which is this amazing matte turquoise shade. It's gorgeous. Um, one thing I like about this though is it doesn't have too much kick up in the pan. Um, doesn't have too much fallout. I like it when eyeshadows are pigmented, but I'm able to sort of build them up to their maximum intensity. Um, I've talked about that before, but I'd rather go in two times to build it up than have it be in have it be pigmented and then not able to blend. So I appreciate that. Anyway, um, with this, this is going to go just right into my crease and sort of just above the crease and you can see I'm just very lightly applying it now and I'm going to be building it up. So then with that first layer applied, just kind of go back in and keep building it up and that's really going to take it to that intense turquoise shade. Okay, so then when that turquoise is done, then next up I'm going into the royal blue which is called Untitled. Now this color um, does have a lot of fallout so just be mindful of that. Um, I'm taking it on just a stiff flat brush. Uh, this one is one from Sigma. It's been taped up with electrical tape because I'm trash. No, I'm just kidding. A little bit of kick up in the pan. I feel like it's a little bit more dry. Definitely tap off the brush before you put it on your eye and then just pat it on. It's not going to look super pigmented at first, but you can apply it again in layers and build it up. And you almost want to go in with layers as opposed to just right off the brush because that's how you end up with a shit ton of fallout. So I'm just going to go back in. Just keep piling that up. That's going to go all over the lid and then I'm going to blend that into the turquoise. 
Okay, so I've packed that on just a few times and I'm getting it really bright. Um, not bright, but like rich, I find. Next, I'm just gonna take the same brush that we put the turquoise on. I'm gonna dip that into the royal blue, really tap this off. Um, again, because of fallout, I have some already underneath the tape there. So it's a very fallout heavy color, but it's a beautiful shade. So you just gotta be sort of patient with how you use it, I guess. Take my brush and just start blending the turquoise and the royal blue together. And then it's really easy to blend those two together. They're both in the same sort of color family. Um, I'm now just going to take this tape off. Um, did pretty good on fallout there, but a little bit on my cheek, but I'll touch that up after. It's not too bad. I'm going to focus underneath the eye. I'm taking a small, uh, this is a short shader brush from Sigma. It's a little tiny brush. I'm going to go back in with that brighter turquoise color called Boom. Uh, I'm just going to place this right underneath my bottom eyelashes. And then I'm just going to take the brush that has a little bit of the darker blue on there and I'm just going to smudge that out a little bit. So it's going to add a little bit of darkness to that. And you can sort of blend it down how far you'd like. I'm going to continue it just up next to that wing as well. From there, I'm just using a little tiny Morphe M210, just a tiny sort of flat shader brush. Um, I looked at this look and decided to add a little bit of the pinks. I'm taking 1960, which is a matte pink. I think it's matte. There might be some shimmer in that, but it looks mostly matte on the um, on the face. And so this, for this, I'm taking that and applying it just right onto the inner corner. It's going to add a pop of color, but it's going to blend really nice between the blue and the turquoise and almost make more of a purple. From there, eyes are basically done. I'm gonna take a little bit of, this is an orange lip liner. Uh, double check if it, it irritates your eyes or not to use lip liner on the waterline. I've done it, but do as I say, not as I do. Um, just double check that it doesn't irritate you. I'm just taking an orange lip liner from NYX. And I'm just putting that on the waterline. I know this collection came with an orange um, eye safe liner, but I'm just gonna use this because I have it. All right, from there I'm going to apply a coat of mascara and then I'm applying a set of false eyelashes. Um, these are ones that I made myself. Um, they're just a set of demi wispies, but I've cut and added like different little sections to them. Um, super simple to do that. All you need is eyelash glue and some old eyelashes. Just cut them up into pieces and glue them onto other ones. All right, so I've applied the eyelashes and just finished up the eyes. Uh, for the rest of the face, I'm using NYX Taupe Blush as my contour. I don't wanna do too much. Uh, for my blush, I'm using a little bit of Milani's Luminoso. Again, not too much. Kind of just keeping it as a little bit of something on the cheeks. Just because everything else is a lot. So then for lips, I did end up picking up one of the lipsticks from this collection. Um, I solely bought it just for the packaging alone. It's one of my favorite works of his, where you have like the little, um, like the green dudes. And this kind of looks like salad fingers to me. So I'm going to pair that with a lip liner. I'm using the Bite Beauty uh, Lip Pencil in 020. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and fill in my lips and then put the lipstick on. All right, so that's just the lip liner itself. The uh, the Bite Beauty lip liners are really nice and creamy. Um, and then I'm just going to put the lipstick on top. All right, so then the lipstick itself is more of like a cool tone nude, uh, which I think pairs really well with a strong eye look like this. Um, up to you guys. If you like it, let me know in the comments down below. Um, but yeah, so that wraps up day one using this beautiful piece of art. I'm just so happy I own this. And I'll be honest, this is one of those things that I bought that even if the eyeshadow quality was absolute crap, uh, I'd still be happy that <laughs> I bought it. Um, so it just happens to be awesome that the uh, the pigmentation is this good and so far the eyeshadows that I've tried are really nice. But yeah, let me know any comments down below and until my next video, I'll talk to all you soon. Bye!